my channel, I'm Amber Nicole, and this week we are making Valentine's Day treats. Now, I love Valentine's Day. I love the idea of Valentine's Day and everything that has to do with love and pink and red. I thought it would be fun to do a Valentine's Day treat video because I did Halloween treats and I did Christmas treats, so why not Valentine's Day treats? Today we will be making cupcakes with a little heart in the middle and then we'll make some chocolate covered pretzels with some cute little Valentine sprinkles. And of course, you have to have chocolate covered strawberries on Valentine's Day. I've never made chocolate covered strawberries, so this should be interesting. And I asked for some tips from my sister-in-law who is a pastry god, I think. I asked for some tips on how to perfect the melting chocolate and like the candy melts. I just don't have good luck with candy melts. So hopefully these tips that she gave me work and I don't screw it up because I really hope these chocolate covered strawberries come out because I love chocolate covered strawberries. So making your spouse some cute Valentine's Day treats, I think is just the cutest gift you can ever give. So I'm not talking, let's just go ahead and start making these treats. We are going to make the heart cupcakes. All you needed was white cake mix and pink cake mix. The video that I saw the girl do, she made her own cake mix, but I just went out and bought the cake mix because I'm really not that bougie. I found these cookie cutters at Walmart for like literally a dollar. I needed a small heart and this was the only one I could find with like different sizes. So the hearts are pretty simple. You just level out the strawberry cake mix and cut out all the hearts that you want. I needed more hearts for more cupcakes so I took the other layer of cake that I had and cut that in half and I was able to get more hearts out of it. This step was a little tricky for me. I should have made smaller hearts because you'll see in a second how the cupcakes came out. I should have put smaller hearts into the cupcakes or I should have pushed the hearts into the cupcakes more. But my tip for you is use smaller hearts and push those little hearts down all the way down because you will see why in a second. So I'm pretty sure they're supposed to be in the cupcake, but I don't know. What do you guys think? <laughs> let's try to cover it up with frosting and let's see how they look. chocolate covered strawberries. Wish me luck. <laughs> You wanna make sure that your strawberries are clean and completely dry. Another tip I got from my amazing sister-in-law, Amanda, so shout out to Amanda. Thank you for all of these helpful tips. strawberry is. It's so cute. Now that our strawberries are nice and clean and dry, we are going to try to make the chocolate. So the tip I got was to use almond bark, that this is a lot easier to use than the chocolate melts. Ooh, look how silky that is. Ooh, it's perfect. But 
on. I still have to decorate them, but I need the other chocolate melt for this. I have to move fast because I want to use this chocolate for my chocolate covered pretzels. For our next treats, you need piping bag. Chocolate. So for this, I just used the chocolate from the chocolate covered strawberries and put it into a piping bag. Now, I do recommend actually holding the piping bag the right way because as you can tell, I was moving too fast and I didn't properly hold the piping bag. So my chocolate was coming out a little bit funky because I didn't close it right, but I figured it out in the end. But I do recommend that when doing this treat, you do only a few pretzels at a time, so that way you can add sprinkles and they actually stick. once I actually figured out how to do it. But look how cute they are. <laughs> that is so good. This is before I figured out how to do it. All right, y'all, and that's it for my video. Thanks so much for watching. I had so much fun making these treats and just about all of them came out, so that makes me so happy. I'm literally practicing for when Adeline goes to school and I can make her whole classroom like goodies and treats, so yes. That's the end of our video. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you wanna get notified every time I upload a video. And if you have any tips for me on making goodies and treats and things like that, leave them in the comments below. I'll see you all next week. Bye.